CBS 46 News presents Public Affairs on Peach. Good morning and welcome to Public Affairs on Peach. I'm Tracy Hutchins. Karen Greer is off. Well, this morning, Gwinnett County is just two days away from a vote to bring MARTA into the county. It has been a lengthy process and local leaders say they believe they have the right combination of options to improve traffic with only a small increase in taxes. But is it the right track for Gwinnett? That's our topic for the next half hour. We begin with this overview from our Haley Mason. Gwinnett train riders today tell me they use MARTA as much as they can. I prefer to take public transportation because it's easier. But they'd ride more often if they had more options. I mean, I would be willing to pay one more cent in tax to get that put in place. He's talking about paying 1% more in sales tax to expand MARTA in Gwinnett. It's the crux of Tuesday's special election referendum vote that could raise the county sales tax from 6% to 7%, meaning you'd pay an extra penny on every dollar and MARTA would essentially take over the bus and rail system to expand it. The biggest change would be at this train station that currently ends at the Doraville stop. It would extend five miles to a new stop in the Norcross area. Doraville being inside the perimeter is a, is a tough location to get to. So we wanted to place a new multimodal transit hub around Jimmy Carter Boulevard. MARTA would also install 50 miles of bus rapid transit routes, or BRT, similar to this system in New York City, where the buses have designated lanes and their own traffic signals to bypass other traffic. We felt that uh, BRT was one of the best options for us to consider. And one example is an extension from Jimmy Carter Boulevard up to the uh, Sugarloaf Parkway area at Infinite Energy Arena. The total project is expected to cost about $3.7 billion. The rail expansion alone would cost $1.15 billion. The BRT, more than $960 million. There are different modes of transit that are more appropriate for different areas. So in the, in the closer in areas, it may be more local service routes or BRT type routes. It's a long road to get the fast growing county on the right track. And if it cut down uh, my drive into Atlanta, I would certainly do it. Now, some people have asked why MARTA would only add one more train stop in Gwinnett County. The county says it'll cost $250 million to build one mile of track, and it's just too expensive to add more rail, at least for right now. Joining me now is MARTA board member Roberta Abdul-Salam. Well, Roberta, thank you for joining us. We appreciate that. Good morning, Tracy. Thank so you. So let's talk more about the issue in Gwinnett County um, because you are on the board there. Gwinnett County voters said no to MARTA twice before, last time back in 1990. Will it be different this time, do you think? I believe it will be different this time because the, the, the transportation conversation is very different. Uh, when we were um, in negotiations and trying to bring transit for Clayton County, uh, it was the first time that they'd expanded in over 40 years. I think that with the success that we had with doing so, it kind of gave other jurisdictions an opportunity to say, maybe we should look at this too. Yeah, so this was something that you told me uh, during the break was actually uh, passed twice, yes. and you've lived in Clayton County for some 30 years, yes. three decades. How has MARTA made a difference in your county? Oh my goodness, um, specifically, it has made a difference in the personal lives of thousands of people. Um, the, our 196 bus route and 191 are two of the heaviest, have two of the heaviest riderships in all of MARTA in just four years. And um, so it makes a difference in terms of what jobs people can, can access. It makes a difference in terms of our students being able to get educational opportunities outside of Clayton County. And even within Clayton County, one of the stories that I told during the, the fight to get MARTA is my own granddaughter had to drop out of Clayton State University because she didn't have transportation mm, to get to, get to Clayton State. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's made a difference in, in, the, in the, the, uh, at the outlook uh, that people now have in terms of opportunities. You know, it would be, I wouldn't consider this job in Alpharetta because I can't get there. Right. Now that's no longer an issue. Yeah. And, and that's, the, that's the best thing about what is happening. I think there'll be more economic growth in the county. Uh, and I think that the people in the county are also bringing businesses back to the county. We lost a lot of businesses. We lost a lot of apartment dwellers uh, when the services were, were non-existent. And I think that that's benefiting everybody now by bringing it back. And there, unfortunately, is this perception that for a lot of those communities that MARTA serves, um, that it would bring in a criminal element. Speak mm -hmm. to that if you could. I would love to. Um, one of the things that we would say when we were fighting to get MARTA 
was I've never seen anybody standing on the corner with the 60 inch television saying, yo, can you tell me what time the next bus coming? <clears throat> it doesn't happen. Right. But I'm proud to say that in the four years, MARTA started running in Clayton County on March 21st, 2015. In those four years, we have exactly two, two police incidents. Hmm. And one was domestic. So, and we have a police precinct in Clayton County. We have a MARTA police precinct in Clayton County. Uh, and the crime has not been the, the factor. Uh, it's been the opposite. Right, you say look at the numbers, mm -hmm. right? Look at the numbers. Roberta, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. We appreciate your time again. Mm -hmm. MARTA board member Roberta Abdul-Salam. Thank, thank you, you so much. Well, the 1% sales tax increase would actually pay for MARTA expansion. It would run through 2057. When we come back, what projects that expansion would bring to Gwinnett County.